Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video we'll be looking at four new things that are added to Laravel version 9.5.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this callback support on the implode collection method. So let me show you that over here. So before let's say we wanted to combine the name of the user and the type of the user. For example you can say you want to show the first name and last name together and then separate them by using comma but in my database i have this username and type if i show you over here this name and type suppose let's say you have first name and last name then you can just do like that i am here just concatenating this name and the type and adding dash in between them and then imploding by doing comma over here like this and you can see here the name of the user dash and the type of the user comma and the name of the user dash and the type of the user and again comma you can just add the comma in between array of data like this but now instead of doing this map and implode we have one new thing so i'll just write here like this and i'll comment this out and here instead of map i'll write here implode like this now we don't have to do it in two steps we can simply do it using the single step because now implode also supports callable and in the second parameter we have to pass this like this over here the first parameter is callable and the second parameter is by whatever we want to implode the things so i'll just hit reload then it will give us the same results the second thing that has been added is this redesign php artisan schedule list command so i have already prepared the older this uh, php artisan schedule list command in any version that is lower than 9.5.0 it will show like this whenever we run this php artisan schedule colon list it will show it like this but now from 9.5.0 and onwards it will show it like this and it is heavily inspired by the latest route list commands and you can see here it is also showing us this very nicely 52 minutes from now and in the previous it would show just the date and if we just add here dash dash verbs then it will add this whole path of the php like this and it will also show us this date in the full date time format the third thing that has been added is this new wrap string helper so here i have this value and let me say hello like this and let's say you want to wrap this with something else you want to add something in front of it and in the end of it then now you can do that using this wrap method and when i run it then you can see here hello and in the front and back we have this map of nepal and it is also shown in the pull request that we could do this on this str helper class but whenever i do this then it will throw an error and it says this wrap method does not exist on this so for now you cannot do it on just this str but you can do it on this stringable class and the final and the fourth thing that has been added is this allow for callables with before sending on the http facade so let me show you that i have this api over here this test api and this one is from my old tutorial just let me comment this out and it is just returning this name and platform and if i come here at the bottom then before whenever we want to modify the request before sending it then we could do it like this so here is the before sending method and here we could just new up or instance like this add id to request so let me show you that class also id to request so it is a invocable class and here we'll get these parameters this request is this illuminate http client request not illuminate http request that we get in the controller okay this is the client request and here we'll get all the options of that http facade and this pending request also we could make so many of these invocable http classes and just use it over here and we could just create another before sending and just copy it and paste it over here and add another one over here we could do this before we had to make a dedicated class for it and here i have just checked if this request doesn't have this header then add this header to this pending request so it will add header to this http pending request so this is just a simple use case and you can do a lot of thing over here suppose let's say for a specific api you have to pass some specific headers or do a lot of things over here then you can just add it over here you can just make a class and add it over here and of course there are several other ways of doing it but this is one of the ways 
and let me show you this whenever we write it over here like this and it will take me to this so i'll just do here dd111 like this and if i just reload it then you can see here 111 over here which means that before sending the request it will reach over here and let me just reload one more time and you can see that response class but now instead of making dedicated class for those you can easily write or create a new function on a class suppose let's say i have this hello class and this is the world method and here i want to use the same before sending method over here but i don't want to create a dedicated class because anything that i want to do before sending this http request is only specific to this class then i can just call this prepare request this method on the same class and the syntax is like this we have to pass array and this and the method name and the method should always be public because this method will be called inside this http class so it must always be public if you write protected or private then it won't work because it will not be able to access this method inside this http class so now here so instead of this i'll just uncomment this one and if i just reload over here then you can see here i'll be getting one two three which means that before sending the request it will reach over this function 